Hi there, Mary with Mary Fenton Coaching. I am a life and career coach and I specialize in helping women transition to a more fulfilling job, career, or business. And congratulations, this is step six in our six step process of simplifying and breaking down that otherwise overwhelming and stressful transition to your new job, career, or business. And this step is the interviewing and achievement portion of your journey. So you've applied to jobs, you've um, gotten some education around your new career, you've started building the base of your business. So you have either already achieved or you're interviewing and deciding on which offer to accept. So either way, congratulations for making it this far. Um, interviewing is not a fun part of the job search process for most people, so you still might want to continue to set your goals, um, prepare for your interviews, practice uh, ask answering the questions with a friend, family member, or coach, and prepare yourself for those conversations. You actually do get better at it with practice, so you don't want to go in there cold so that's definitely something that you can work on um, you, you can't really expect to be good at something that you have never done before or haven't done for 10 years or 20 years you, you can't just expect to sit down and wow somebody that you've if you've not prepared for it so I highly recommend preparing um, you know ask people who have had those positions or work for that company or find online sample questions or like I said work with a coach on it and practice answering the questions especially practice the ones that feel hard um, so that is the interviewing portion and then the achievement portion is you've made it you set out you set a goal to start a new journey and you've made it you've landed a new job you've landed in a different career you've started your business and I just want to congratulate you and acknowledge you for having done this work and now that you're here how do you feel and what's next so sometimes the momentum of having achieved something new ignites further desires. So if that's the case, I would love to hear what's next for you and let's start working on setting new goals. Maybe you've found a new job and realized there's a, another position that you really want to strive for or um, you've gotten into your different career and you just feel happier overall and there are things in your personal life that you want to work towards. Um, and in your business, there are always new goals and new levels of success to reach. You might want to expand or uh, reach a different audience or um, pivot and do things in a new way, which we've all learned how to do through this pandemic. So there's always more to work on, but I also want you to take this moment and congratulate yourself for getting this far and to look back and think in the beginning remember you know how you felt when you felt maybe stuck in the wrong job or without a job or afraid to get back in the job market um, or stuck in the wrong career altogether or had this dream of starting a business that felt like a fantasy that you were never really confident enough to tackle and you've tackled it. So really take this moment in, let it be a lesson to you that you can do it. And I look forward to seeing what comes next. So thanks for taking this journey with me and for allowing me to be your guide. I look forward to hearing from all of you about what that journey looked like for you. And if you'd like extra support on a one-on-one -on -one basis, I do offer a career crossroads coaching program one-on-one. -on -one. That's a 90-day program, and we walk through these steps together. So I would love to do that with you and look forward to hearing from you. Bye-bye.